right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, use recursion to create a range of numbers. So continuing from the previous challenge, we're provided with another opportunity to create a recursive function to solve a problem. So now we've got a define, pardon me, now we've got a function named a uh, range of numbers with two parameters. The function should return an array of integers, which begins with a number represented by the start num parameter and ends with a number represented by the end num parameter. The starting number will always be less than or equal to the ending number. Our function must use recursion by calling itself and not use loops of any kind. It should also work for cases where both start num and end num are the same. All right. So basically, this is just like this one, except for we're going to have this be start num instead of in. And then instead of, and this will be in num right here, basically. Uh, so no, 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 no. This will be in num and this will be start num, right? So let's try to do that, but this by memory from last time. Uh, and let's say something like this. Let's go um, if. I don't even remember what it looked like. Let's just take this. How about that? We're not, we're not winning any prizes here. Let's copy this, bring it over, still do it, still type it out for muscle memory. But uh, anyway, so let's do this right here. Let's say if, and let's say if in, let's say if end num is less than start num, what we're gonna do is have an empty array. So return empty array like this, all right? Whoops. And then we'll do else, else, come on now. And then we'll have uh, const, we'll do count like we did last time, equals range of numbers. And then this time we'll do start num, and then we'll do end num minus one, all right? And then we'll have the little semicolon here. We'll say, what are we doing? Count array count dot push. And then we'll put end num like this. And then right here we'll say return count like that. And let's cap it off like that right there. So let's get rid of this stuff. Actually, let's uh, just in case, let's throw some comments around it like that. And then let's come over here and do a uh, console.log. And we'll say range of numbers. And then we'll do start num. How about let's do five, five. And let's do the end number is 10. And so we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So basically it's just, it's just, I mean, the range on this one was from zero to in. So clearly the range, the beginning of the range is going to be here and the end of the range is going to be here. That's the only logic I used on it. And so, and look, it clearly works. So let's run the test. There we go and submit it. All right. So that's the end of that. 113, we just knocked them out. Good to go. Now we're on to ES6. I'll read all this stuff after that, uh, and after, you know, in the intro, and we'll see you next time.